some other work, you look at uh, only binary situation, so that it's p and one minus p. It's just uh, you're looking for a, at a, uh, interval zero one. No, no, you can uh, you can derive dynamic programming, but to get this kind of Vital index theory out of it, you need you need essentially you need some kind of ordering so that you can say that okay, so you are a binary decision. Uh, you at least uh, I mean, if you have a higher dimension, where where is the threshold? Two dimensions will I have to be a curve. Right? It's not a not no that we have done that in one particular case, but it becomes harder and harder. So particularly PomDP, the only results around are when there's a binary decision. So they are looking for a two dimensional probability vector, which is P and one minus P, and which means you are searching on the interval zero one. I think uh, I have a parting message about, from a well-known 20th century British philosopher about learning theory in general. So that, that's it. No, Poisson equation is, I mean, it, it predates all this. See, what you, if you, I have taken the simpler problem of policy evaluation. If you do actually optimization, you get this kind of equation. So this is cost, let me call it I minus eta star. Now this will depend on control. So this is kind of a nonlinear Poisson equation, the dynamic program equation. See, the original Poisson equation is something like this. I may be off by a sign. Maybe minus here, I'm not sure. See, on, on a bounded, bounded domain, you can write this minus Laplacian phi equal to f with some bounding condition, okay? On the whole space you want to make sense of it, you run into similar troubles, you have to subtract an offset. It won't always have a solution. Yeah. No, you will have to, basically you have to, uh, I think uh, you have to use the good uh, approximation architecture. So it's a feature space. Yeah, feature space, etc. Yeah. Sandeep had some work on uh, finance where the time matters, time is money. <laughs>